Wake up, babe. New Cardio Games video is here. What up, guys? Cardio Games here. Welcome back to my channel. So, finally, after a couple of weeks, I'm back with another Idle Heroes video. I know that most of you guys subscribed to my channel because I was uh, doing a lot of Idle Heroes content, but recently, uh, honestly, there is nothing to show in the game. Uh, I was really upset with DH Games last week when they announced that they're gonna remove the B plus uh, Soul Awakening Crystal and they're gonna replace it with with a B minus Crystal. I was really upset with them, and honestly, uh, at this point, I stopped playing on my free to play account. Uh, but today, Napo from Core, he's a friend of mine. He hit me up and he said, "You can jump in on my account." and you can do some content. The funny thing is, uh, he told me that I can do content on his account a month ago, but honestly, there is nothing to show. Uh, the events in Idle Heroes are pretty boring. You just need to spend money, and I don't want to do content about spending money, spending currencies in the game. I want to push some content, but unfortunately, on my free-to-play account, there is nothing to show. So today in Apple uh, hit me up on Discord and said, you know what, I have the new hero, I have the new artifacts, you can jump in and you can test them out. And uh, honestly, I was surprised that we have new artifacts in the game. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know that DH Games uh, released the new content. So uh, actually, if we take a look here uh, we have a completely new option where you can fuse some artifacts you need to use relics you need to use old artifacts you have to combine them with new artifacts and uh, yeah basically you're gonna get the new ones so if you get the exotic pistol plus antler skin and 100 re relics you'll be getting the breath of forest spirit uh so napo has this new artifact unfortunately it's not splendid it's only one star but nevertheless we're gonna test uh the artifact on lord of fear aspen in broken spaces also we'll be testing uh the new hero so we were together with napo and patrick in core i know him uh way before that we were in uh, killer mugs i think this was the name of the guild after that i went to utopia and Napo went to a uh, core. Uh, basically, uh, basically Napo is top uh, 20 everywhere. Let me go back here. Yeah, let's check uh, Void campaign. You can see that uh, Napo cleared everything. He is top 20. How many people? Okay, he's the last one who cleared a uh, Void campaign. Very interesting. Okay, so basically, yeah, Napo. Uh, probably you have seen Napo in uh, Arena somewhere or in Void Campaign. Uh, he is an old player and uh, yeah, sometimes he's spending some money on the game. So, let me show you his heroes. As you can see, we have how many copies? One, two, three, four, five, six A- minus copies. Actually, Lord of Fear Aspen has an A copy on him. Perfect. And also we have the new hero a cosmic enforcer luna all right so c-e-l okay we're gonna call her c-e-l uh she's only level 100 but she has uh almost 2 billion hp and 20 million attack so i've heard somewhere on discord or actually on reddit that she can be a replacement of drake we're gonna use her uh, at level 100. Napo has a P copy with crit damage effect of being healed, that's fine. So, uh, we're gonna jump in and we're gonna test his lineup in broken spaces. We're gonna test the new artifact and also the new hero. So let me show you first of all, uh, let's start with the uh, treasure train well, let's check the stats here you can see fixed attack 12 million and fixed hp uh 1.2 billion yeah that's billion well okay and uh, he has a lot of tickets he is just saving up probably for an event i use the lineup that nap is using in shrine 
So pretty much I'm gonna replace Drake with the new hero. I think that we'll be running Elusive Mirror on everyone so they can buff our old damage dealt. Uh, Lord of Fear Aspen will be with the new artifact. It is only glittery but still I think it's much better than the uh, Splendid Antler Scan. We get 90% precision, 33% attack, 300% skill damage and 50 speed. Now the 50 speed might be a problem but I think I've checked the speed on most of the heroes and we have two heroes that will be going before Lord of Fear Aspen. One of them is Freya, the second one will be Halora. Uh, so at the end of each round increases the heroes uh, all damage dealt by 9% and all damage reduction by 1% for 10 rounds. Pretty good I would say. Let's check the heroes that we're gonna throw in in broken spaces. We have SQH, uh, 30 million attack, pretty good. Uh, so everyone will be running Elusive Mirror. She has speed attack, so she can be faster than Lord of Fear Aspen. By the way, let's check the speed order. So he should be third, I think. Freya, yeah, okay. So Lord of Fear Aspen should be going third. Uh, pretty much we'll be running offensive uh, hero enables and void imprints. Let's check skill damage, crit damage and holy damage. Okay, not bad. Uh, what do we have here? So she'll be gaining uh, six layers of transition power with an active, increases energy, armor, uh, damage reduction and increases self all damage dealt. Uh, HP, yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's check the new hero. So basically, she is an assassin, and uh, I've read her skills. She's, she's supposed to do probably pretty good damage, but we're gonna use her mainly because of her passive over here. So basically, when an ally releases a basic or active skill, she inflicts one layer of structural breakdown, and each layer grants different uh, effects. Yeah, uh, she looks like Drake on steroids, so I want to see how she's gonna do. Can she replace Drake in a PvE formation? We're gonna be running also Olivia and Heartwatcher. Maybe we can replace Olivia with uh, DGN, but I'm not sure. For now, I think we're gonna be running this. We're gonna run also the Wolf Pet because we have synergy with uh, Luna and with Halora. And let's check now our lord of fear aspen uh, 56 million attack uh, we have an a copy on him crit giant killer defier uh, we're gonna run the new artifact holy damage skill damage uh, fully offensive crit damage precision and holy damage and what do we have here core and uh, let's check the transition skills obtain six layers of transition power uh, okay deals extra damage Reduces the target armor, that's fine. If the target's HP is below 50%, he deals more damage. Increases self all damage dealt. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the final skill. So basically when uh, he has 12 layers or above, he's gonna do 2000 damage, 2000% 2000 of attack damage uh, to the enemy. Uh, opposite of him right yeah and uh he has 50 percent chance to inflict fear okay all right i think we are all set up so uh core we're gonna use the core of freya yeah that's that's okay let's jump in broken spaces and let's see if we can clear broken spaces with 11 badges stage one uh
let's see now active okay finally we're gonna see an active of aspen let's see the active okay let's go stage nine we have drake and we have russell uh, by the way with uh the train stats of napo i think that we can survive even the new bosses but let's see okay the basic attack is slapping really hard uh let's see the active yeah okay so one active and uh the fight is over uh let's see now stage 10 now it's getting interesting um should we run mark purify let's let's go back let's change our formation uh let's put mark purify on our heroes i don't know if we can survive without any support probably we can let's see uh do we want mark purify let's go with mark purify just in case i don't know i'm scared right now but i think with 2 billion uh, hp uh, we're gonna survive let's hit save and let's go back in broken spaces let's see now can we one shot this stage i'm very curious let's see come on lord of fear aspen show me what you got with the new artifact uh, let's speed up and also i want to see if heart watcher and olivia can survive uh, okay let's see the active oh wow okay the active is doing uh, a lot of damage actually can we do another active nope we cannot so we're gonna do another active around three i mean probably even without the new hero uh aspen should be able to uh kill them if we can uh break free from the cc let's see the active oh okay huge active uh, yeah probably we had to run a uh, cc purify uh, hopefully we can kill gloria now break free okay can you one shot gloria yes we can okay i think we have this so i was saying that probably even without a new hero without the defense down uh, lord of fear aspen can <laughs> can uh kill the bosses with a couple of actives it's not a big deal uh especially with the new artifacts uh, let's see this active probably it's gonna one shot yep yeah lord of fear aspen is amazing and finally uh let's see stage uh stage 11 uh we are running mark purify so let's see if we can survive the active of uh what you might call it uh forces let's see now active active uh are we gonna melt oh we survived can we heal yes oh they're hitting hard even for a big train can we get some shields perfect okay aspen is doing pretty good uh are we gonna die from our own buffs okay not bad i'm curious to see now uh the active of uh aspen round five let's see okay he's doing pretty good all right can we speed up the battle so he should start doing really good damage probably uh around 10 if our heart watcher doesn't die uh let's see now okay uh we're still surviving uh can we get an active here nope let's see can we one shot here this guy nope we didn't kill him are we gonna die now from his active uh
I think the shields saved us. And now with this active, we are supposed to kill uh, Vulcan. And after that, I think we're going to kill forces. Okay, we have four rounds. I think we're going to do two more actives. Uh, if we get the buff from the wolf, yeah, I think we've got it. So let's see this active. Yeah. Lower the Fear Aspen is amazing. So, uh, how much damage was that? I already forgot. Uh, plus 16 should be 1 quadrillion. I forgot, guys. Uh, honestly, I did uh, steal, uh, not steal land. I did uh, Star Expedition a long time ago, so I forgot how much is plus 16. So, yeah. Uh, 11 tickets were enough to clear all the stages. Lord the Fear has been with the new artifact is really amazing. Uh, I'm not gonna claim all the rewards. I'm gonna leave that to uh, Napo. So let's check again the formation. Uh, we were surviving pretty good even with uh, Elusive Mirror. Uh, I think that the shields and the damage reduction from uh, Freya was keeping us alive. And we have a lot of uh, HP, by the way. I'm not gonna lie. So. Lord of Fear Aspen with 56 million attack is crazy. I definitely want to test him out probably in Sealand. If we have time some other day, I would I would jump in, of course, uh, with the permission of Napo and we'll try to push some Sealand. Uh, these new artifacts are pretty cool. Uh, they're gonna help probably a lot of new players in Void Campaign and in Sealand, but yeah. I think that's it for now guys, uh, let me know what you think about the video, are you still playing Idol Heroes or you already quit? Uh, currently I'm playing a lot of new games and uh, yeah I don't have time for Idol Heroes, the game feels a little bit stale, the events are pretty much the same, you have to spend a lot of money on the game if you want to progress and uh, if you're starting the game now as a free to play player, I don't know. Honestly, I'm not enjoying the game as a free-to-play because it is taking a lot of time to push any content or uh, to make any videos. So for now, I think that uh, I'll be doing some videos on Napo's account whenever uh, he allows me to. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think, guys, about Idol Heroes and about the video in the comment section. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.